Hello everyone. From this video, I will use a couple videos to show how can we program the motion control command. For example, home, jog, move, and access stop. Those instructions are commonly used motion control instructions. Continue from the previous video, the software what I'm going to use, that is the Rockwell Studio 5000, and controller I'm going to use, that is the Alan Branley Complex Logix. And one of my key motivation to make this video, as we know, once we drag one instruction, it will pop out a lot of question mark here. For each question mark, it need special date type here. So for the new starter, if this is the first time for you to program this, this is really confused. Some date type is a real, some date type that is an integer, some date type that is a bool. You need to declare many date types here. Declare that data type is a really huge job. It need you to declare a lot of variables with the different data types here. So it's really confused. And to make this video, I prepared some data types here. So I will attach those data type under this video. So you can directly use this data type. And for the detailed instruction, so just follow me in this video step by step. Okay, before we start to program, we can import those data type. So to use those state type, we can go to assess and find out the date type user defined. And from here, right click, click this uh, import date type. Okay, we can select those state type and select, for example, firstly, I will select this MC instruction and click open. And here we can rename this state type name. I will select this uh, create. Click OK. OK, this is the MC instruction. So this instruction, this MC instruction includes the common used MC control, the instruction. For example, home, drag, stop, or move, and access gear. Some common used MC instruction here. Those instant here. OK, this is the MC instruction. And next, import import MC status. So sometimes we need to grab some important status from the access. And you know the access has a lot of information, but this MC status, I picked some important status. So we can transfer the status from the access into this structure. So we can pick some important status only. Let's click OK. Okay, this MC status also includes this MC destination here. So if I double click this status, I picked some important status, for example, no fault, enabled, ready for jog, ready for motion control, at standstill, locked, jog in, uh, from this MC destination. So from this MC destination, I predefined five destination here. For example, in your project, if you have a five destination, you need to move. Position one, two, three, four, five. This structure predefined five position here. If you need to add more, so you can go to the MC destination and add more positions here. So I predefined five at here. Okay, let's import next. Variable, MC variable. Okay, MC variable. As we know, for each motion instruction, we need a speed, acceleration, deceleration, and the direction. Those are commonly used variable for each instruction. Okay, and this is the MC VAR, import data type, and MC command includes all the important command for different instruction. For example, let's open, import, and open it. For example, from this command, we have a safety OK enable, server enable, server on, off, home the access, go home, go to find the home sensor, jog, uh, go home direction, jog direction, stop the access, shut down the access, and move to command. Move to command includes the MC underscore destination. So if you recall, we predefined five positions here. For each positioning control, we have the individual positioning control command here. 
okay and this access position it was used within this status so it automatically import here those are important date type and you can use them directly also you can add other tags based on your application okay after we import those date type then we need to use those state type and declare the actual variables. Those variables will be used for programming. Okay, to declare the variables, we will declare the variable at the main program here. Uh, so firstly, we will declare the command. So I will name it positioning access. For our application, I will name it app application command. In actual case, this app here, we can change to conveyor, lifter, or the pick place, for example, for different application name. So here, the date type, we can call that underscore mc underscore command. It's using this mc underscore command date type. Okay, here. Okay, next. Let's show the status that is the positioning access underscore app status. Okay, and the date type, let's use this ud underscore mc underscore status. ud mc status. Okay, and next, that is the mc instruction. So positioning access. Okay, I will call that MC, okay? And this come from MC underscore instruction. Okay, UD underscore MC underscore instruction. For each instruction, we will use MC. Also, we will use MC uh, variable. So we can name it positioning access MC VAR. Okay, so it's date type, we can use this mc underscore var. And next, let's declare one integer. That integer, the individual bit within this integer, we will use those bit as the ons, the rising edge, the trigger tag. So they can be named as a positioning access ons. Okay, so we will declare as an integer. When we use them, so we will use the individual bit here. Okay, so for each access, for example, we are going to control this access one underscore virtual here. So those variables, especially all those variables will be used to control and connect to this TO technology object here. This TO technology object here. And this tag locate at the controller tags here. This is the access variables. And if we switch to the program, the main program here, those are the application and the MC instruction command variables here. Okay, after we declare those variables, okay, it pave a way for our programming. So let's go to the program routine. So firstly, let's delete this. And at here, I will create one routine. Right click, add new routine. I can name the similar name as this uh, access one. So at here, I can name it, okay, access one, MC instruction, click OK. And from this main routine, we will call this access one, okay? Double click here, we can type in GSR. So GSR will be used to call this subroutine here. So let's select this routine, access one MC instruction. Okay, then we can mainly focus on this routine. Let's double click, jump into this uh, routine. Okay, here. All right, till now we paved the way for the MC instruction programming. And we import the date type as shown in the screen. And using this uh, date type, we create the PLC tag and then using this PLC tag, we can quickly evolve into the MC instruction programming. Also, we set up this routine and using the main, we can call this routine and all our MC instruction, we will program the instruction inside this subroutine. And in next video, I will show how can we program 
the MC instructions. For example, the MC home, MC power on, and the move jog, and the move absolute. All right, see you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.